in our last session we learned about something that is needed for any game that you create they are called events as promised in this session we will make our sprites interactive we will add some of the events to our sprites and we will have a lot of fun interacting with them this will be your first step towards becoming a game developer so let's get started so as a first step log into your code.org account and open a sprite lab i believe all of you know how to open a sprite lab we have already posted a video on introduction to sprite lab if you have still not seen it watch it now go to sprite lab okay so here we will create a new project uh what could it be i am thinking to do something with a farmer and fruits so maybe a farmer is supposed to pick the fruits from all around the garden something like that so as a first step let's take a sprite okay uh let's add a sprite with the costume of a farmer yeah this looks good to me we can take this one definitely go back to code select this farmer position it yeah to begin with we want it at 200 200 only so that's okay now resize we may want to resize it to maybe 75 yeah looks good so we have added a sprite which looks like a farmer we have resized it and repositioned it uh, what's next let's put an appropriate background I would rather like to go for a plain background. Maybe a uh, yes. This looks okay. So, let's reset the background. Now, let's reposition this farmer. Somewhere here. Okay. So, we have a background, we have a farmer, we repositioned it and we resized it. Uh what's next? because in this session we are primarily focusing on events how we can make this farmer or this sprite interactive and we can move it with the help of our arrow keys so up and down arrow keys how we can uh, uh, use up and down arrow keys to move this farmer you go if you go to events section you will see this particular event when up pressed take this one okay so you will when you click on this drop down you will see that up is one of the event while you have other events as well they are key press events up down left arrow key right arrow key space bar a b c d so you can see almost all of the key combinations are given here what do we want to achieve here at this moment we want our sprite that is the farmer to move along with our keys so if i am pressing my right key the farmer should go towards right direction if i am pressing my left key the farmer should go towards left direction up key should take it towards up direction and down key should take it towards down down direction so let's you know to begin with put this much code so when up is pressed what do we want to do we want this sprite to move uh 10 pixels yeah 10 pixels is fine enough in the north direction so up is north direction down is south right is east and left is west direction similarly take other events so yes when down is pressed do this 
when down it is supposed to go south on right key press move towards east direction and on left key press move towards west direction yeah so we have uh, we have written this a small code just uh, let, let's test it how it is done click on run and see you can actually use these arrow keys as well and you can use the keys on your keyboard as well so i am using the keys on my keyboard when i am pressing right key yeah it is going towards right when i press left key it is going towards left when i press up key it is moving upwards and when i press down key it is moving downwards so works perfectly till now uh, what next we can do i want to add uh, you know some more uh, animations maybe to it so what i will say when this is sprite is moving towards right it should face right okay and right is here yeah it should face right and when this is sprite is moving towards left it should face towards right left so i am adding these two more commands let's see if it works i will reset and run again Oh, there is a bug. Yo, so here we will have to say face left. Okay, so reset and run it again. It's going towards right, facing right. Going towards left, facing left. Wow, isn't it amazing? Wow, looks great. Now let's add some fruits which this farmer is supposed to collect. Again, I am going to sprites block. Make a new sprite. Now, what we want to do? We would like to, you know, add some fruits scattered here and there, which this farmer will be picking up. So, what all fruits we can pick? Yeah, I found an apple. I can add this one. and uh, then what else i found watermelon looks delicious what else let's look in the costumes what else we have search for fruits uh, uh there is nothing for fruits but you know we may want to berry mm. yeah food let's search inside food yeah we have we can take this one looks great we will reposition all of the sprites later for now let's pick the fruits which we want to add to our canvas let's pick some more fruits looks delicious okay let's reposition them now Let's resize.
in 50. Let me see how yeah, 50 looks good. In this watermelon, let me try to make this also 50. Yes, looks good. Now this raspberry, oh sorry, blueberry. 50. Yaps. And this cherry. It's also 50. Okay, so now what we have done, we have created a background. We have added some fruits. We have a farmer. Okay. So let's run and see how it is working. Yes, when I am clicking on right and left arrow key, the farmer moves in the direction. Okay. But what next? What do I want after that? Maybe I want to add an event so that it gives an impression that the farmer is collecting these fruits. Currently, the farmer is reaching near to the fruit, but it is doing nothing. So what could be the event? Let's go to the events tab and find out. See, you have this event when one sprite touches another sprite. Let's use this one. So we can add an event like when farmer is touching the apple what we want to do okay similarly when the farmer is touching watermelon what do we want to do when the farmer is touching blueberry what do we want to do and when the farmer is touching cherry what do we want to do okay so the first thing which we would like to do is when the farmer is touching these fruits we should remove that fruit so that it gives an impression that farmer is actually collecting those fruits. So again, we will go to events. Or again, we will go to sprites. And we will take this command remove. So when farmer is touching apple, remove apple. When farmer is touching blueberry, remove blueberry. When farmer is touching watermelon, remove watermelon. I will suggest you guys to do it along with me so that you get a better understanding about events and I am sure you are going to enjoy it. So we have put all these commands and events. Let's reset and see how it is working. Yes. Yep. Yep. Now this is giving us an impression as farmer is collecting the fruits. Uh, let's make it a little more fun. What we can do? Maybe we can add a couple of behaviors to these uh, fruits. Let's try adding some behavior. what we can do when this sprite begins which is sprite apple okay go to behavior and we can select one of the behavior so we can say when this sprite is created it is moving towards east and looping so it this will make this game a little difficult for the player to collect the blue fruits Similarly, we can add a few more behavior for other fruits. For example, this watermelon, we can say moving south and looping. Okay. This blueberry. is very important to organize your code. We can give some another behavior for this blueberry that 
could be swimming left and right yeah and finally to this cherry what we can give this to this cherry uh we can probably say van ring yeah let's see how does it looks i will reset and run it oh wow so we can see our fruits are flying but this cherry seems to be disappeared without the farmer picking it up now th th this makes job of the farmer more difficult to pick all the fruit but it's a lot of fun now yes wow looks great is wasn't it fun i would like to change one thing uh, i would like to give different behavior to my cherry so let me give some another behavior moving west and looping let's run and replay yeah this is done one more thing if you want to increase the speed of this farmer let me show you how you can do this so here you can see when up arrow is pressed move 10 pixels towards north if you want to increase the speed of the farmer you can probably say make uh, move 12 pixels down again move 12 pixels and right again move 12 pixels and left again maybe 12 pixels so this way you can increase the speed of your sprite let me run and see yeah so i am experiencing some speed up yeah this cherry yay so fine so yeah you can also try some other events you can go to this events block and try to explore what are the other events that you can plug in with this particular um, project which we created i hope you had a lot of fun interacting with the sprites stay tuned with us for more fun filled videos on these topics in our next session we will learn about decision making in computer science or decision making in via coding that is going to be a lot more fun once we learn this our uh, animation and game programming will become lot more interactive and fun so stay tuned with us bye bye